episode 21, smash that like button. Can I help you? Oh, well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. That's hilarious. They don't even know it was us who burned down their fields. We're good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Thoroughbreds? I gotta see these horses. I know you can catch them in the wild. Go on. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment. With Mr. Braithwaite, I believe? Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Her partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. John's got that persuasive talking down. He's yeah. got that wheeling and dealing. Whoa! Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. I can't believe we're actually hitting this place twice. <laughs> I mean, we came over here and torched right. their crops. Hitch up here. And now we're going after their horses. 
Outlaws for life. You did real good, boy. Let me do the talking. I mean, if they're thoroughbreds, I should be able to catch them out in the wild and sell them for five thousand dollars. We can make that cash. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. <laughs> Gotta put him to sleep. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. What kind of thoroughbred horse is this? Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Yo, this is not a thoroughbred. It's an Arabian. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Or I guess maybe it is a thoroughbred, but it's not the one that you can catch out in the wild. Look at this thing. It's This guy is a beast. Easy, boy. I've caught the other white Arabian and the black one and the brindle wrapped Arabian. They're all females. These guys are males. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. These guys are stallions. What are you doing? Let's go. Oh. Quick. Go, get out of here. I what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Looks stop. like we gotta shoot our way out. Yep. Can't let them cause any damage to the horses. We need all that cash. We need all the money. They're coming out of the fields. We got him. Get him with the replay. I'm just gonna abuse this dead eye. We ain't playing around. Try and see if we can get these headshots. There we go. Get him out of here. All one and done. Oh man, I missed. Oh, we got more. You know what? I gotta hit him with this move. I ain't stopping. We're just moving. We're gone like the wind. Let's go. Shit. It blocked our way out. We'll have to go through the Get rid of these guys. Oh, that guy's still alive? There's a gap in the fence. We can get out that way. See if we can gotcha. Get rid of them in the trees. This horse Kratos is an animal. He's got health for days. Look at that. Max health. I think we lost him. Wow, look at this horse here. Yeah. That's a nice horse. What kind of horse is that? No, look out. Oh! Get on the road. You won't get away with this. We got more! Nice. You Easy money. More? No? Don't think so. Alright, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Look at this horse. This is a... That's a nice horse right here. The one that I'm riding right next to. You okay there, boy? Oh! Yeah. What? Shit! What? 
Aw, oh, man. Now we gotta catch this Black Arabian? This thing is fast. Oh, we got him. Easy money. This horse that I'm riding is a rare horse as well. It's an Andalusian. It's a war horse. I named him Kratos. The god of war, you already know. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Easy. Look at that horse. That horse looks mean. I wonder what type of horse that is. Got you. His name is Cerberus. This guy looks awesome. I wonder if I can feed him. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. And what brings you here? So I fed this horse treats and food until I bonded with it to level one. And look at this. There, okay, boy. Now it's mine. So long. Keep this, business on yep, yep. this is yeah. unbelievable. I got there, me boy. a stallion thoroughbred. It's a dark bay Turkoman. I looked at the stats and it's crazy. It's a multi-class horse. I've never seen this horse in the wild or in any stables. Look at how beautiful this guy is. Hey. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... 
Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Yo, this guy is catching some Z's. He's out here snoring. I wonder if we can just take the money. We don't even have to deal with him. Win Holmes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please. I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, boy. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. Hey, how about this, then? I guarantee the payment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. So I've caught all of the legendary animals that I could. I've never heard of this cougar before. I know there I know there's a legendary panther. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. But that panther is in New Austin and I can't get there right now. Well, we gotta be ready. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. I've hunted a lot of panther and cougar. <laughs> and they see you first most of the time. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. 
and look out for her. Yeah, yeah. Great, we're gonna split up. What a brilliant idea. Now I gotta use this lantern. How am I gonna use my gun? Oh. I can hear it. Holmes? Oh. Winton, Holmes? You gotta be kidding me. All right, this guy. Don't mess around with me, boy. Oh man, he's gone. She got him. Crap! Damn, dead, deader. All right, you know what? Screw that lantern. I'm using the eagle eye. You know what? Maybe I can use his body as bait. Where are you? You can see the scent coming off of his body, so maybe if I stay up here in the high ground. Oh. Oh, here we go. I got you. Let's go right between the eyes. Got him! Wow, a white cougar. Is it a three skin, a three star pelt? It's white. Better be rare. It didn't. It didn't say anything. So I'm just gonna be getting thirty eight dollars for this white cougar pelt. That's crazy. Should be getting way more than that. You Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> what is this kid gonna do? Is he gonna rob the church? Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. What? Is this guy serious? Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Huh. <laughs> it's a good thing we got our mask on. We're gonna be digging up graves. Shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past. Ah. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, Mister. Good day now. Okay, you, you guys had a Get chance. Out of here, kids! Move! Come on! I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Let's see. Hopefully. 
Hopefully this lady's gonna be all right. Would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Look at that. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. This is hilarious. Now we're on guard duty. We gotta watch the gate. Oh, looks like there's somebody coming. Hello there, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Oh, looks like we got more. There's them that's born to it. There's everyone else. Uh-huh, that's how it is. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Okay. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you bastard. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to give them these hands. Oh, use the fence poles. No ways, we got the bobbin weaves. The in and outs. Oh, to the body. We're out of there. Gotta catch him with these counters. Look at that. To the gut. Left hook. Overhand right. Oh. oh. Overhand right, left hook. Looking like Roy Jones in his prime. Well, they got what they deserved. Let's go check out on this guy. See if he's got the cash. He actually well, did. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. This guy actually dug the grave. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> that's insane. Well. We got what we came for. Oh ho ho! That's too close. Just gotta let it fly. <laughs>